Hey everyone, this is Paul with uh, RC Foam Fighters. Basically, I'm back out here with another kind of a, a concept plane that I'm working on. Um, there was a lot of people that kind of liked the old F-117 that I made, but some of them were complaining that it wasn't scale enough. So I wanted to try and make one that looked a little more scale. This is a um, kind of in development phase right now. Um, I want to get it try and fly, uh, get it flying really good. Then later on, I'll probably switch over to EDF motors and see if I can get it flying with EDFs. Um, but this first version, I've got uh, a prop motor on here. I'm running a, a Grayson Hobbies Super Mega Jet with a 65.5 prop and it's going to be running a 3S uh, battery pack. Um, here's the hatch right here. It's just basically held on with uh, magnets um, but the battery fits way up there and uh, I got a 60 amp ESC which is a little bit overkill and I don't know if you can see the receivers on the other side. It's actually plenty of room in here. Um, I may have to size it up a little bit but I'm thinking about later either putting two 50 millimeters in this one or going bigger and doing a dual 64 so we'll see what happens um, like I said first I want to get this up and flying and kind of dialed in I want to see how you know different flies from the last F117 that I had um, it does feature a KFM2 airfoil and I'm kind of experimenting here I put these little I don't know what you want to call them little runners along the elevons that hopefully will help trap the roll of the air coming off the KF airfoil so we'll see if that has any weird effects or anything. And the tail section, this is kind of experimental. Um, I was, didn't really like it when you don't have anything um, behind the motor except the tail. I know it's less drag, but it, uh, I don't know, it didn't look right to me you know, from the side. So I came up with this little, uh, I guess if you lack of a better call, it, uh, a thrust plate. So I took the back end, I usually sloped down, but I made it level so when the air is blowing over it, it doesn't create some weird effect in the pitch. So I don't know if that's gonna work. We'll see how it works. <laughs> Fly, so you ready to throw it in the air and let's see what happens. All right, guys, keep your fingers crossed. Okay, it's feeling like it wants to nose down a little bit. Does it feel like the CG is right, Paul, or not? It feels a little nose heavy, I think. Get it up a little bit and then do a glide test and see. Yeah, let me spin it around. Yeah, it's going down pretty good. So I think I'm a little nose heavy. Well, it's always better to be nose heavy yeah. on a maiden. Looks like it's flying nice, though. Yeah, I'm having to keep uh, the uh, elevator back a little bit, keep it from nosing down. So we'll fly it a couple laps, and I'll bring it in. But it definitely looks like it's flying a little bit better. I did make one other uh, test version before this. Um, that one didn't really fly right. I had to actually dual motors on it. We'll probably put a clip of that at the end of this video. Um, but this one's looking like it's flying pretty good, other than being a little nose heavy. So I'll, I've got another battery. We'll make some adjustments to it. Then we'll throw it back in the air. Let's see. It's got almost unlimited vertical. Yeah, I've always loved the look of the F-117 in the air. It just looks so different than any other plane. Yeah, I think that's one of my favorites, too. What size battery are you running in this, Paul? 2200 or 2250, something like that. I think it's 2200. I think it's that Rhino Pack you let me borrow, Frank. Oh, okay. Yeah, those, I, actually, I um, think those are those zippy lights. They were the 2200s. That's right. 60C. Damn, dude. <laughs> Hallelujah. No. Just for a split second. Okay. I'm gonna bring it out and then bring it back in. Hopefully I can bring it in without destroying it. <laughs> Woo! A little fast. Damn. <laughs> okay. That was a pretty All right guys, that was the main flight. Uh, went pretty good. Like I said, it felt pretty nose heavy. I was having to pull back the elevator to keep it uh, flying straight. 
So let me do some adjustments and hopefully we get a fly in a little better. All right, guys, the first flight went pretty good. Um, I made some adjustments, so we're getting ready to do the second flight. Basically, I had about a half ounce of uh, lead in the nose. I took that out, um, scooted the CG back probably about a, I don't know, about a half inch or so. So we're just going to do it in little increments, see how it um, adjusts how the plane flies. I also adjusted the control horns. Uh, I moved it a notch down to give me a little more authority in the uh, elevator pitch. So uh, let's throw it back in the air and see how it flies. Looks like I had a little bit of torque roll there on the launch. I didn't really notice that at the first flight. Did you give it more throttle this time? Yeah. Yeah, it does appear to be not pitching down as much. So I think that's a little closer. Try another glide test, Paul. Yeah. I may have to give it a couple notches of up elevator. Yeah, see that's that's glide is still going down. Make some adjustments on the radio. Got a little roll. Yeah, I think that's about right. Okay, I made some clicks on the trims, so let's do a little more flying. Okay, come straight at you. Yeah, I think it's definitely dialed now. Feels a lot better. Oh yeah. Oh, I forgot to mention too, I did put a little tiny vortex generator right on the top of the front of the cockpit. Um, in theory, it should create like a vortex that spins and hopefully keep the air going over the vertical stabilizers. I don't know if it made any difference, uh, but this plane does feel like it does fly a lot better than the first prototype I made. Okay, I got the aileron set to about a mid setting. So, looks like the barrel rolls are fairly slow. Let me crank that up to high. Okay. There you go. <laughs> okay, ready, Frank? Yep. Uh, it's still not super fast. Yeah, on this plate, I did design the elevons to be a lot smaller. So I think that did relax kind of the way it flies, just more docile. Okay, let's see. Loop. Okay, I'm going to bring it in. The, this battery on this flight is an old one, so. Not sure how good it's going to be. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, guys, that's the uh, Foam Fighter 117 version 2. Um, this is the first concept. I'm going to be probably doing some more adjustments and more test flights. And then later on, we'll probably work on an EDF version. Okay, real quick, I just wanted to show, this is that little vortex generator I was talking about. So, in theory, it should make a vortex that swirls to hopefully keep the air back down over the vertical stabilizers. The second tab, that's just kind of a thing I put in to pull the hatch up. Alright guys, look for more of this uh, version 2 coming up in the future. All right, guys, here's the uh, quick uh, mock-up I did of the plane full-size. Uh, right now, I got 
dual motors on here uh, kind of just real ugly motor mounts that I had lying around um, we're gonna test flight just with this setup see how it flies um, and then once I get it dialed in we'll probably uh, do some modifications to make it a little cleaner what happened Take it up and do a glide test, Paul, see okay. if it's nosing see. down or what. There's glide. Gonna feel about right. Oh, oh. Oh, this thing's kind of weird. What did it do? I think it stalled. I don't know, this thing's definitely shed speed real quick. We do have about eight to 10 mile an hour headwinds today. See a barrel roll. Hey, it's pretty crazy flying. So I think the natural way the body is deflects the air away from it. Whoa, oh crap. Uh oh. <laughs> that wasn't good. I don't know, it just started rolling. I couldn't get out of it. Death, Death roll.